Okay, I'm going to do a little testing with the M3 Tactical Scythe Karambit. I, I choose to carry it in the reverse grip. So you rotate it forward and pull up. If you're going to carry it like in a Hawkville style, then you pull back and up. Either way is going to be effective. It's easy to deploy. <clears throat> if, if you watch the movie Extraction on Netflix with Chris Hemsworth, there were a couple of good karambit fighting scenes in there. And one thing about a karambit, which the scythe is made like this, is if you want to throw a jab or a straight punch, it penetrates the target and then you pull through or rake through. If the karambit is made to where the hook is too far out, you can't do that. Also, if you have any boxing training and you can throw a hook, then you can use this in the reverse grip. I'll go to show a little bit of uh, what, what it can do. Uh, in that fight scene with Chris Hemsworth, uh, in the apartment scene in a breezeway, he sneak attacks this bad guy carrying an AK-47, and he, he grabs AK-47 with his left hand, and then he disarms the AK-47. Then he comes in to the guy's neck like this, okay? If you can see that, I'm all the way into the handle. Then he pulls through, okay? Now, I will show close up of this damage, but he did that to the guy's throat. That'll take you out. That, that's gonna get the carotid artery. It, it's gonna take a man out. Voice box, it's gonna pull it out. <clears throat> and then he, after he does that move, he moves the guy against the wall, left hand against the guy's head. He's already made this maneuver. Then he comes in with two jabs. After he does those two jabs, he finishes up with this move here. Okay, and as you can see, yeah, that's a finishing blow. I'll, I'll show you that reverse move and the pull through. But what I'm trying to tell you is the way this is made, okay, is if you can do a straight punch, okay, straight punch, in and out, okay, it's, it's going to do that kind of damage. And like I said, I'll pull the camera up closer to show you what this is capable of. But it's exceeding, exceedingly great damage to your opponent. One thing I will say is that opponent better be armed with some type of weapon or there must be multiple opponents to where you have to have a force multiplier to survive. You don't want to do this with somebody that's unarmed, equal strength, equal fighting ability, because this is a lot of damage. I'll pull the camera up closer and so you can get a good look of how deep that is. It's I'll show you up close. So the reverse where I made that first penetrating move. Let me get this stop from swinging. And then I just slid it through. That's the kind of gap you're talking about. So if you can see my hand and see how deep it is in that wound channel, that's incredible. All right, Kevin, I hope this helps. Uh, M3 Tactical Alliance, I hope this helps. Uh, this is a devastating weapon. Be careful with them. But they are a very good defensive tool to have in your arsenal.